Over the course of the past uh, three months, I made a set of wonderful discoveries that I want to share with you. Uh, they are a little more intimate and personal than uh, other episodes, and uh, I hope that you will appreciate it and you will be able to share that uh, in your uh, comments. Uh, but of course, uh, any feedback uh, will be wonderful. My name is David Orban, and this is The Context. This episode is uh, recorded differently from others. I decided to be more spontaneous. Uh, in previous seasons, uh, we tried to increase the quality of the production, hopefully achieving our goal. However, I also noticed that uh, there was uh, really too much delay from recording to publishing on one hand, and on the other hand, uh, the polished uh, production didn't necessarily uh, reflect uh, my nature or the nature of my message. So both the content and the form are a bit different this time. Another remark uh, before I get into uh, the subject of uh, today's recording is uh, concerning my life, my past. Um, you must know that uh, I uh, have uh, met uh, the person who is now my wife when I was 16. And we got married uh, when I was uh, 22. We got um, lucky, uh, you could say. We are still married. And uh, we had three children. The first was born when I was 25, and now all three left the building. Uh, so what happened is that uh, with my daughter living in Korea, and uh, you can find uh, some conversations with her uh, on uh, uh, other episodes of uh, the context or uh, more specifically, searching for the question live, um, she uh, needed some support. And my wife uh, very generously said, okay, why don't I come and stay with you for a bit? And uh, she left in uh, October and came back in January. So for uh, the first time uh, after... Uh, 30 years, uh, we were not together. Obviously, it happened in the past as well that we uh, would separate for a week or two uh, as uh, I would travel for work, for example, or maybe uh, she was vacationing uh, uh, with uh, the kids or on her own, you know, uh, normal things. But it never happened before that we would be separated for three months. So here are my two discoveries. One of them uh, is more like a confirmation, if you wish. And it is that I love her. Now, it is not something that uh, um, one would necessarily share with you, but uh, I am very happy and, and proud of this. Uh, what I think is uh, also pretty cool is that it is not something that I necessarily took for granted. It is something that I was very happy to discover from, you know, some simple things. The fact that I was <laughs> happy to be able to talk to her almost every day uh, over of course, uh, FaceTime or whatever other uh, video connection. The fact that uh, I was missing her while uh, she was not uh, uh, here, uh, we were not together. And then uh, from the fact that I was happy when she came back. So that's discovery number one. Discovery number two uh, is uh, something that was much less uh, expected uh, uh, and uh, induced um, a level of uh, curiosity uh, in me that 
I am still exploring and I am still mapping out the boundaries of, of this discovery. And it is how much I appreciated uh, the solitude of the house that uh, I uh, lived in uh, together with, you know, uh, a, a large family before, and now I had to myself, and additionally, how much I appreciated the silence. So, I feel that uh, this is worth mentioning because we are not only accustomed, but almost required to keep our minds busy all the time. We are told that our time is wasted if we don't watch something, listen to something, talk, write, share, publish, uh, absorb, analyze, report, decide, act, and so on. And there is a lot of truth in, in, in those uh, simple inputs. Uh, there is so much that we can achieve that uh, really what we give up when we don't strive to achieve most or many of those things can be accounted for as a lost opportunity. There is apparently an opportunity cost in inaction. On the other hand, it is also the case that oftentimes what happens is more keeping busy than being really productive and efficiently aimed for reaching a given goal. So what I found and I'm certainly not the first nor alone in finding is the pleasure of letting these impulses go to a certain degree and alternating my day in focused productivity with uh, other periods of time during the day when I not only didn't accept the impulse of being or having to be productive, but I, with, with great serenity, would stop any stimulation from reaching me and would just quiet myself down. And this quieting the busy mind is something that uh, is akin to meditation, even though I not only never practiced, but I don't call myself uh, being uh, alone and silent as, as a meditator. But in my little experience, I greatly enjoyed it and perhaps I benefited from it as well. And it was simple to me to realize that uh, not only I didn't need television, uh, not only I needed very little close to zero, you know, Netflix or whatever other kind of streaming service, but I actually didn't need music. And I know a lot of people who say that their life would be empty without music. Fine. I am happy. I am thrilled. I am exhilarated in listening to great music. But I don't have this need and I didn't feel the desire to fill the silence with music all the time. The silence itself was almost like drinking. And talking about drinking, 
I also consumed very little alcohol. And I like uh, a glass of wine. When I uh, eat um, some good meal, I uh, like uh, a little bit of whiskey uh, before uh, or during um, some uh, movie that I'm watching, maybe. But the amount or, or the moments when I would uh, take advantage of that and uh, one would naively think, well, there is no one uh, watching you, so you can go crazy. No, none of that not only happened, none of that was something that I wanted. So, I don't know whether all of this needs a name. I don't know whether it is a phase or a step on a path. I will be happy to discover it um, and uh, realize which or where uh, this is going to, to lead. Uh, whether I am drinking water, as I greatly enjoyed and still enjoy um, during these past months and now, whether I am literally drinking the silence, replenishing uh, my mind through breathing alone, um, well, I want to invite you to share your experience, whether you had ever uh, discovered something like that in your life too, or whether you want to just uh, try uh, to be and uh, see not only what it does to you in that moment, but in a complementary matter, manner, what also it does to you when then you decide to work uh, for the amount of hours that you want to or you need to, and how that work becomes more relaxed, more focused, more productive, thanks to the experience of quieting your noisy and busy mind for some time every day as you enjoy that particular practice. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Context, Season 6, Episode 1. We have been on a wonderful journey together, and I am happy to restart it uh, in new and hopefully stimulating pills uh, where I share my point of view, my experiences, my reflections on places, people, technologies, and how humanity is exploring itself and its adventure. And I am really privileged to be able to do it together with you.